Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Hadassah Serka. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. Now let's go to Catherine for Today in History. Thank you, Hadassah. What's up, Patriots? In today's history, on January 17th, 1953, the first prototype of Chevrolet Corvette was introduced to the public at the General Motors Motorama Auto Show in New York City. This first version was able to be introduced because Harley Earl, the creator of the Corvette, wanted Americans to have their own race car. It was the beginning of an idea that later became the iconic car that everyone knows today. Did you know that there's a gap of 66 years between the first car design idea and the official debut of the Corvette? How interesting. Now let's check in with today's lunch with Samara. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is macaroni and cheese, seasoned breadstick, seasoned green beans, fresh broccoli, ranch dressing, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain donut ring, cinnamon toast crunch, graham crackers, fresh apple, and 100% orange juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch break is at any time and to always bring your lunch card. And don't forget to inform your teachers if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's head back to the Dasa. Thank you, Samara. That sounds fantastic. Tomorrow, 7th and 8th graders will have the chance to go to the Patriots store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times, and there is no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. Today is our testing night for grades 3rd through 5th grade. It will be at 6 p.m. in the school. And Thursday is our testing night for 6th through 8th. This Friday is an early release day. Not only do you get to start your weekend early, but the following Monday is no school. How exciting. I'm going to enjoy this nice long break. Do you like this school as much as me? Well, come on and enroll yourself back into the new year. I promise it will be even better than before. Just ask your parents to sign you up. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the color run is finally here. I can't wait to partake in all this fun. I'm so hyped, are you? Calling all elementary students. From January 13th through February 18th, you all can play basketball, but that's only if you signed up last year. And if you did, then go on and have a blast. It will be in the gym. I hope you all have fun. This week, Friday, is our due date for instructional software challenge. I hope you all completed what you were instructed. I can just smell the pizza and popsicles through here. Today, kindergarten has their star math test, and sixth graders have their fast math. And tomorrow, seventh graders take their fast math, while first graders will have their star math test. Make sure you do your best. It's just for the test. Now let's hope for sunshine with Camilo. Thank you, Adasso. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is 68 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. You might want to go for a little jog. In other weather news, you won't believe how cold it is in Texas. The United States is experiencing record cold weather, prompting scientists to do an experiment on a bubble. The experiment is to see how fast the bubble can freeze under cold weather. Look at it being frozen by the freezing weather in frigid Amarillo, Texas. When the bubble was blown, it almost immediately formed ice crystals on it. That's crazy cold. Now let's go to Giselle for today's birthdays. Today's birthday boys and girls are Anna Castro, Stephen Figueroa Gonzalez, Justin Roberts, Isaiah Garcia, and Khaleesi Gents. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Hadassah. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are Pat's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Sands and Ms. Gret for getting the correct answer for yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what has holes but is strong as steel? The correct answer was, a steel chain. Today's daily challenge is, Daily Challenge! What word might appear in the missing space? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced in the next morning announcements. Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you all a wacko Wednesday. Have a silly day!